Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're taking a trip down memory lane. Two years ago, a unit named Goal D Roger came to One Priest Treasure Cruise and absolutely blew away everyone's expectations and what everyone thought was the best unit in the game. This guy released two years ago now. And two years down the line, he now has a 6+. plus. Now, when this guy released, I immediately thought about the Hawkins Forest. And Hawkins Forest is a big, annoying, long piece of content that a lot of players, especially mid to early game players, they actually, a lot of people struggle with this content. And when I saw Roger's kit, when I saw Roger, I just thought that this, this character would make it easy mode to take down this particular fight. Two years down the line now, we have Roger's 6+, plus, and we also have level limit break in the game. And when Roger released, I made a video on the Hawkins Forest, which I'll leave in the link in the description too, by the way, for you guys. If you guys want to go check out that video, make sure to go send it some love. Um, it was some pretty early stump content. It was uh, around the time where the channel really like started to uh, snowball. It's where we really started to boom. And it's where most of the content sort of started to get to pick up on views and, and build this amazing community. Uh, while you're down there as well, don't forget to build the like button and hit that big red subscribe button for me if you guys haven't done so already. Um, in this run, I, I'm not copying the previous run. I'm copying the team, but I'm not actually copying the run. So if you guys want to go and check out a, a run with a little bit less investment and obviously without the power creep that Roger gets with his 6+, plus, the level 150 and the Rayleigh level limit break, you guys can go check that out. But as I was saying, Roger's 6 plus made him infinitely better. He is such an amazing unit. He's now like back in the top echelon of like the top 10 to top 20 best units in the game. And Rayleigh with his level limit break 5 actually like helps out this trained team drastically. So with today's video, we are going back through the Hawkins Forest with the exact same team that I actually completed with when Roger first came out. And I gotta say like this team... Like, if you guys are struggling for, like, crazy supports, if you guys are struggling for some, like, top echelons of units, this team might be the team for you. And hopefully it's helped, it'll help you guys out like it's helped a lot of other people. It's my highest viewed video on the channel. Um, so make sure to go check it out if you haven't done so already. But the supports are all stat-boosting supports. The legends we have on this team aren't new legends. They are older legends. And obviously there are better teams to complete this now. With the release of support characters, with the release of some more powerful units. There's a lot of teams that can complete the Hawkins Forest, don't get me wrong. But this particular team in, like, this particular team does it very nicely for not a lot of crazy-ass units. The, the forest really picks up at stage 12, I think we're at. But this stage right here, the holding stage. Maybe it's stage 13. Against Okiku, it's very annoying. I just blew that stage away, but, like, you can stall out that, uh... That very annoying stage with the blowaway captain and then getting the blind and stuff like that. Uh, but I just kind of blew it away with Roger's 1.5 million fixed damage. And then you just use the switch ability of Luffy and Zoro to get rid of the special blind that gets inflicted by Ryzo. So that way when you do get to this particular stage against Holden, you'll have your specials ready to go. Now the cheat code to this particular forest is locking orbs and using something like Clash Bonnie. Clash Bonnie gives you a full board of recovery orbs and will also remove defense up and threshold, which is amazing for that Holden stage because not only do you get a full board of um, recovery orbs, which you can now keep for the entire fight, but you can also remove the threshold. Roger with his super type gives you an orb lock mechanic, so you can activate that before the Bonnie special, and that way you can basically just keep these, uh, these recovery orbs for the entire fight. Another cheat code is having Vivi Rebecca as a sub on this particular team. They give a chain lock every single time you switch with them, which obviously allows you to hit goods and greats without losing damage. So then that way you can actually keep those recovery orbs. Luffy Zoro, their switch ability is absolutely insane to remove stuff like slot bind and special bind, which is super prevalent in this particular fight. And then Rayleigh, he triggers the super type condition of uh, Roger, as well as being another chain locking option. I have mine at level limit rate 5, so I thought this was a pretty good opportunity to showcase that as well, because with the release of Super Evolutions and level limit break, not only getting characters to 150, but giving them new abilities like Rayleigh has, has changed this team quite a lot. And as you guys saw at the start, I have everything at 150 here, um, so we have a pretty big Oonga Boonga team. And getting it done with the new variation compared to two years ago was like a hot knife through butter. Like, it, it's it's like chalk and cheese with how different the run actually is. And 
like I said, I, I'm not copying the run, but you guys definitely can uh, from the, the previous video. With some investment, you guys should have plenty of damage in here and there. But um, utilizing stuff like the chain locks from Luffy Zoro, uh, Rayleigh, and Vivi Rebecca just help out so damn much for this fight. Vivi Rebecca's special also helps out on that particular stage that you saw there against Kyoto Shiro. Uh, and if you guys need to take a few extra turns against, um, well, an, an extra turn, I should say, against Kanjuro and Kinemon, you definitely can. But just be mindful, you don't want to get either of them below half HP. Against Jack around the middle mid-game, he gives you a chain coefficient reduction, and he makes strength and uh, dex orbs unfavorable for 99 plus turns. So this is why having the recovery orbs is so valuable, but not only that, you can just, just keep your, yourself at a nice chunky HP pool for the entire fight. Once you hit the Zoro, Law, and uh, Sobermar stage, they're going to give you bind on your top and bottom right and middle left. And that's why having Luffy Zoro here is so valuable, because you can actually just switch with them, remove the bind, and then you can just take this stage out easy peasy. If you guys don't, like, there used to be, like, some old shenanigans where you get special reverse by Zoro for 99 turns or whatever it was. Um, and then, like, you can do some stuff there. But against the next stage, against Jack, you can actually stall out for pretty much as long as you need to, really. Um, with the recovery orb mechanic and locking them and cheesing this far this, this way, you can basically just hang around on this Jack stage for as long as you need to. That's why I've basically popped all my specials. Jack's going to, like, blow away your captain, uh, sorry, your friend captain every two turns. He has attack down, he gives you attack down and puts up damage reduction and threshold for three turns, but you can easily just stall out. So this is a perfect time to just, like, start use stuff like your liberal hinds, use your other Roger super type, that way you can get some cooldowns, uh, and you can basically just chill out on Jack. But why is Roger so much better than what he once was? Why is he six plus? so much more valuable than what he actually did when he was a six star well the big upside to using this guy back in the day as well as still now is he has this ability to remove beneficial effects well he blocked the remove beneficial effects so if any whenever the enemy uses haki like you guys would have seen uh, a little bit earlier in the run but we will see it at the end of the fight as well um he can just block that and just stop stuff like removal of beneficial effects remove removal of cumulative effects which it means that carrying buffs from say stage two into stage three or whatever stage you're in into the final stage will actually be way more beneficial. Not only that, but his captain ability goes up to something like a 5.25 after you use his special and is a five times otherwise rainbow to any any class or color you want to put on the team. Now, most of the time when I'm building Roger teams, I'm using stuff like Free Spirit and Slashes. It just works out that way. He's a super type to Psy, so obviously bringing Psy units definitely helps him out as well. And you can do some really, really cool stuff there. The big upside as an endgame player to this unit as well is like treasure map. Mid-game, mid-level bosses or like mid-map bosses just don't stand a chance against that fixed damage that he can do because he goes through normal attacks only. And now with his 6 plus, that does that has gone from 1 million to 1.5 million damage. He goes up to a 3.25 times attack boost as long as you've hit 10 million cumulative damage throughout the run. And that's a rainbow attack boost, which is actually insane because it means that no matter what you put on the team, Roger's just going to be your attack boost for everyone. He has utility in his captain as well. He completely removes Despair. And whilst Despair isn't exactly the most annoying debuff, completely removing it is super, super powerful. They buffed his special as well. He used to extend the orb boost by one turn. He now extends orb boost by two turns. And with his super type, he not only locks orbs for one turn, he, moved, he that got buffed to two turns, but he gives one turn of cooldown as well, which is super, super valuable for speed running content and getting stuff done that way. As you guys will see here, we're going to use his special to extend Rayleigh's orb boost from one turn to three turns. And with the level limit break plus of Rayleigh, that just means that we can actually get three turns of a chain lock. And it just works out so like, nicely for this Kaido stage because you can easily just decimate him on the revive. Again, having Luffy Zora here is so good because you can just switch with them. As you guys were seeing throughout the run, we're just switching with Vivi Rebecca every turn. That way, we're not only getting giving ourselves healing if your recovery orbs aren't healing as much as what mine are, but you can actually do a lot of damage with that uh, 2.5 times chain lock and keeping the recovery orbs. That's the interrupt right there from Goldie Roger, the one that just stops the cumulative effect. So if basically we had like a five turn orb buff, and we brought that into the next stage, we wouldn't have to worry about worry about it. Roger's going to remove the Despair on the final stage. Bonnie, that amazing character, can remove the defense up, but so can Vivi and Rebecca. Um, either of them two on the final stage will definitely work. You can easily just use Bonnie throughout the run to give you a recovery buff, so that way you're healing more with those recovery orbs if you guys aren't healing as much as I am, because like I said, everything on this team for me is 150, so my recovery stat is crazy. I'm healing like 7,000 per orb. 
which is nuts. But you also have that switch ability of Vivi Rebecca too, so don't forget about that. With the Roger special on the final stage and the Luffy Zoro stage, Luffy Zoro special, we have plenty of damage here to absolutely decimate our boy Hawkins. But that's going to wrap up the video. A bit of a blast from the past and a lot of fun there. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, make sure to go down there and belt the like button for me. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't done so already, hit that big red subscribe button. Most importantly though, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Late!